Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. So guys, in this video, we'll be implementing one web search agents with the help of Fi data. So for this, what you have to do guys, first of all, you have to create one virtual environment. So for me, I already created the virtual environment. You can see demo one and the Python version you have to use 3.12. Okay. So how to create the environment? I think you already know that. So for this, you have to write conda create hyphen n then here you can specify the name of the let's say uh, environment let's say i want to give demo then you can specify the python is equal to 3.12 okay like that uh, you can mention the command now if you press enter so it will create the environment for you then after that you have to activate the environment with the help of this command so conda activate mm, conda activate demo okay like that so once it is done then we have to install the requirements okay so here is the requirement guys so these are the requirement you have to install so to install the requirement you have to execute this command called pip install hyphen r requirement.txt okay now if you hit enter so it will install all the requirements so for me it is already satisfied that's why uh, you can see okay it's done so for you it will take some time so once you have installed all the necessary let's say library now here let's create a file i'm going to name it as web search uh, dot py or i can just write web search agent dot py and here you can see guys i'll be using py data and i think you know that py data is one of the amazing agent tki framework so nowadays actually they changed the name let me show you so you can see phi data <clears throat> so you can see guys this is the phi data dashboard all right so even you can also go to the documentation you can see like how they have double uh so you can also visit that documentation you can see like uh, okay uh, the code example and all so first of all let me show you okay how we can create this kinds of web search agents so here first of all let's import some necessary library so first of all i need uh, pi dot agent uh, I'll be importing agent then I need uh, I'll be using grok model here so let's import it so from pi dot model hmm, dot grok it supports all kinds of model you can explore like it supports Google model bedrock model okay uh, then open AI model so we'll be importing this graph done then i need one source tool we'll be using DuckDuckGo. you can also use tabili or let's sarp api it's up to you so tool dot DuckDuckGo. import DuckDuckGo. then i need load env okay so from dot env import load env now here you have to specify the grok api key where you will get the grok api key go to the grok playground guys okay and from here you can create an api key and just try to mention it here so for me i have already done now let's initialize my load env and it's like very easy if you're using pi data so with very less line of code you can create these kinds of agents so first of all let's initialize my web search agent is equal to agent and inside that you have to give some parameter like name of the agents name is equal to i want to give let's say web agent then description this is the agent for searching content from the web okay website then you can specify the model so model is equal to will be using grok model so grok inside that you can specify the id of the model so here we'll be using llama model okay so you can see grok is having different different model uh, so we'll be using one of them so you can see llama model so let's initialize one llama model here 
So this model guys will try to use okay. So Lama 3.370B versatile. Okay, this particular model will be using. Then we'll specify the tools. Tools wise, we'll be using something called DuckDuckGo. And you don't need to give the like API key for the DuckDuckGo. Okay, so yeah. Then I will give another parameter called instructions is equal to always include the sources. Okay, sources. Then uh, I'll give show to call is equal to true. So these are some parameter you can check in the documentation. Then markdown is equal to I'll make it as true. Then debug mod is equal to true. Okay. So yeah, I think. It's done now. Let's uh, do the source operation. So web source agents dot print masses. Okay, print response. Sorry, print response. Inside that you can uh, give the questions. So let's I will give our questions. What is the capital? Okay, of India. And I want a streaming output. So here I'll just write stream is equal to true so let's check whether it's working or not i will open up my terminal and let's execute the agent so from a python web source uh, agents now see guys it is uh, doing the real-time source operation and it is showing all the logs okay all the reference and you can see the capital of india is new delhi new delhi is a uh, many uh, capitally within uh, the national capital okay so you can see this is the entire results i got so that's how guys we can create any kinds of web search agents if you want okay let's you want to do some real time search operation that time you can use it all right so yes uh, this is all about our web search agents so uh, in the next video we'll be creating some more agents with the five data so thank you guys